Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, where everyone is entitled to my opinion, and I'm Bill Stone. This is the introduction video to a four-part series regarding abortion, and in it I'm going to discuss the zero aggression principle, the definition of sentience, the definition of sapience, and how you can use the zero aggression principle to decide if an abortion is ethical or not. Now, abortion is a contentious and complex subject. Many people see any abortion law as infringing on a woman's right to control her own body. And many others see abortion as equivalent to murder. And there are valid arguments to be had on both sides. Now, much of the pro-life argument is often made from a religious perspective. I am in no way qualified to judge this because in the first place, I am an atheist. And in the second, it is a matter of faith. And like it or not, faith is not an appropriate position from which to craft legislation. Because if you craft legislation from faith, then Sharia law could also be used to craft law, as Islam and its tenets are also matters of faith. Oh, sure, you may think your faith is right, but so does the person with a completely different faith. And there's absolutely no way to know for sure who's right because it's a matter of faith. You find out if your faith is correct when you die. So I cannot and will not attempt to make a religious argument. Now much of the pro-choice argument is made from the perspective that a fetus isn't a human being and so therefore isn't deserving of its own human rights. And while there is some valid scientific thinking on this, it completely ignores the fact that unlike every other animal on earth, a fetus is a potential human being. To argue that it's not is to be caught in an amazing feat of cognitive dissonance that cannot be reconciled to observable reality. A fetus is potentially a human being, and you simply can't ignore this. Now, I've said in other videos that I am a libertarian of the anarcho-capitalist variety, and this relates directly to the zero aggression principle, which I'll be explaining in great detail in part one. For me, as a zero aggression principle style libertarian, abortion becomes a matter of observing the zero aggression principle, which states, as is scrolling past on my lower third every single time I make a video, no human being has the right, under any circumstances, to initiate force against another human being, nor to threaten or delegate its initiation. Now, since a fetus is inarguably a potential human being, at what point does it actually qualify as a human being? And therefore, when it is a violation of the zero aggression principle to initiate force against it by aborting it? This video series will attempt to answer that question. And to do so is going to, oh man, we're going to have to delve into the topic of human intelligence, about which there is very little that is known for certain scientifically, and so debate on this is often heated. However, it is necessary to at least make a stab at it, because we otherwise have no objective standard by which we can come to some reasonable conclusion about what constitutes a human being and what does not. I'm going to present my own perspective based on my own life experience, gained raising two children as well as having observed other children such as my niece and nephews and my grandniece because yes, <laughs> I am just that fracking old. Now it may not agree with what the intelligentsia has to say on this subject, but I don't really care. And to be honest, I haven't bothered to check because it became clear to me a long time ago that there is no truly accurate scientific measuring stick. We have a lot of theories, but that's all. So you're going to get my opinion, because on Tales from SYL Ranch, everyone is entitled to my opinion. So buckle up, because I have been prepping for this series for a long time. And I'll be dropping one video per day, because there was no way that I could produce them all in one part and keep the time to under 10 minutes per video, which is something I've discovered you're going to have to do, otherwise you're going to lose your audience's interest. So tune in tomorrow for part one in my series in which I will discuss in depth the zero aggression principle. 
So that's all the time that I have today, boys and girls. So uh, tune in again tomorrow for the first part in this series, The Zero Aggression Principle. And if you like what I'm doing, please do like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, share me on social media, and to tell all of your friends, family, neighbors, pets, and livestock to do the same. I would certainly appreciate your support, either via my PayPal tip jar, my subscribe star, or a place on my website where you can support me further. And there are links to all of these in my description description box below. So, thanks for watching Tales from SYL Ranch. And remember, for a breath of fresh air, watch Tales from SYL Ranch, where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.